Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Stickups and welcome back to Detroit. So where we last left off, I hit 1 million population in this city. And I've got to be honest, you know, that was my only goal for this playthrough. Is I just wanted to get to 1 million population. But doing that was pretty easy, you know, because I just did near enough 100% residential in this city. And everyone is basically poor as fuck, you know. I think I did a pretty accurate representation of Detroit, to be honest with you. This city is pretty fucked up. But I thought, you know what, I don't want to just let this city die out. I want to turn this city around. You know, I want to get a complete U-turn with this city. I want to take it from extreme poverty and get some extreme wealth in this city. That is going to be a hard goal because it's not just going to happen overnight. A lot of changes need to be made to this city. So we lower the crime rate. Yeah, we lower all the pollution because there's a shit ton of ground pollution. Let's have a look actually. Uh, where is the ground? Well, actually, let's look at the health map. Okay, and the health isn't too bad because we've got that huge hospital over there which is actually getting to everyone. Uh, fire risk is pretty moderate because people are stupid around the city. Uh, yeah, there it is. The garbage problem. Actually... Hmm, <laughs> okay, um, they seem to be actually getting to a load of people, which is pretty nice, but there seems to be, like, a load of, like, pollution building up underneath the cities. There seems to be, look, uh, quite a bit of ground pollution building up, and that's going to take a lot of time to clear. Oh, we just got an achievement. Okay, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're going to try and turn this city around. This is going to be our goal. And the thing is, though, as well, I'm not at 1 million population anymore because some people died and moved out. I'm just waiting for their buildings to grow back. I personally think you could probably get around about 1.2, 1, 1 maybe even 1.3 million population. I don't think you're going to be able to get, like, 2 million population, which is kind of sad. But, yeah, we're going to have to start deleting some stuff because we're going to have to try and get, like, ground values up as well. I'm not ground values. <laughs> We're going to have to try and get land values up, you know, as well. So people get more wealthy. We're going to have to bring back the university and that so people are a lot more smarter. Uh, let's have a look at the police precinct. Uh, how many crimes committed per day? Jesus Christ, 509 criminals per day. All right, that's a big number. Yeah, this is Detroit. Uh, oh, God. There's a lot of sick people per day as well. Uh, fires, yeah, 31 fires a day. It's not too shabby. But yeah, where should we start? Actually, what's the water level looking like? Okay, that's not too bad. See, it's the thing. We've got to maintain our money levels as well because we're spending a lot on police. The thing is, well, once we get the land values up and people get, um, you know, a lot more... Once people get a lot more smarter and that, you know, they won't, turn, they won't turn to crime. So we'll be able to get rid of some of the uh, services like police and that. But, yeah, where should we start? Okay, we should probably start planting some parks and shit to get some land values up. Uh, we'll go... Oh, I don't need no power at the moment. No, we don't need power. Um... We'll start planting some parks and that seems to fit. I could probably work on the layout, I guess. Uh, what about this? So what I might try and do is I might try and get rid of some of these roads so we can fit some parks in there without destroying some of the buildings. Because it's the thing, if I put in a load of parks, I'm going to end up destroying a load of buildings. So let's try and put some parks in here see if it'll work. Okay, will this fit in here? Okay, it will. Okay, sweet. Their land value should go up. Alright, nice. Uh, can we fit a bigger one in? I think we can. We can get rid of that little building. Uh, we don't want those buildings there. That should hopefully get that land value up a little bit. Uh, we're going to need some more services back into the city, I guess. I guess we could put, like, town halls and shit around. Uh, can we fit a park there without destroying that building? Yes, we can. Nice. All right. What about um, around here? Okay, uh, ooh, what? oh yeah, that meteorite hit up here in this area here, so we can't build. That's pretty annoying, actually, so what can we do? I guess we could put the park there. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of a, a radiation park, Chernobyl Park 101. We'll put that there as well. Uh, can we fit? Let's start taking rid of some of these roads. Uh, oh, we've got an abandoned building. Where is it? Oh, shit, look at this homeless problem. Walking dead. Walking dead. Uh, what is your problem? Out of money. Come on, you've got great tax levels. Uh, let me guess, out of money. Alright, sweet. Okay, let's... I'm just going to fast forward to me putting in a load of fucking parks. <laughs> Alright, okay, I've just put in quite a few parks around and about. I've also increased my taxes up to 9% to get a little bit of money out of these guys. And yeah, have a look at my approval rate at the moment. Only 47%. So we're going to have to get that up. People want schools. People want money. People are dying all around us. <laughs> so yeah. Alright. Okay. Um, seems to be stuff is building. Yeah, we put in quite expensive parks which cost $80 an hour. Hopefully the land value will go up. I actually want to have a quick look at the land value. Uh, building density map, happiness map, population map, land value map. Alright, okay. Well, this whole area here, definitely in the red, is going to be very negative. So, yeah, we're going to need to put more schools around. The parks do help the influence, which is nice. Uh, we're just going to start putting some schools in. Alright, let's go to education. Education. And we will put in... 
I'm not sure we could put him. We could go straight to uni if we wanted to, but that's 88 grand. We haven't got 88 grand. We can't afford that. We can afford a public library, I guess. We can't afford a high school. We might have to just go for a grade school. But where are we going to put it? That is the question. The million dollar question is where we're going to put the grade school. I guess we could actually put it in Chernobyl. We could put it in Chernobyl. Why not? All right. Um, we've got to delete that part though first delete that and we'll put the park there so the kids are gonna get mutated nice <laughs> uh, should we get rid of that commercial building uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna fit this we'll put that there like that okay sweet okay we've planted that nice uh, we're gonna put in some more school buses and stuff uh, we'll put in some more rooms so our people get some education nice all right, sweet. Uh, we need to put some uh, bus stops around. We need to fast forward this, actually. Put some bus stops around. This will help with the land value and that. And hopefully, people won't turn to the life of crime. We've already got some bus stops around anyway because we did have a schooling system before. Put this down. Put this down. Put this down. Uh, just put it everywhere, really. <laughs> and why is that road broken? Okay, I need to put that, fill in that road there in a second. We'll put that around there. Okay, hopefully land value has just gone up quite a bit for these people. Oh, yes, seems to be some level 2 land value going up there. Nice. Okay, that is good. So that's a really good impact straight away. Um, okay, where was that road at? Where was that road at? Road, where are thou? There you are. Um, do we have an electricity problem? We shouldn't do. We shouldn't have a water problem either because the population has gone down. Oh, my God, we're running low on oil. Okay, it takes a while for the uh, truck to get there anyway. So where is this abandoned building now? I bet it's burnt down because of fire. Um, I love the little homeless people. <laughs> it's a little game in itself, just watching them wander the city. Um, I guess we could put a little... I guess we could put some more nature around to, you know, maximise my land value. Like, we could fit that there. Uh, where else can we put? We need to put some land value around here, I guess. We'll put that there. I guess we could put a little bit more commercial about. That would do nicely. Commercial really would help uh, people get some more jobs and that. Has the approval rate gone up? No, it hasn't. Oh, my God. It seems to be on the up for medium wealth. Low wealth, it hasn't. Um, it should be going up. We need money. We need money. We need the money. We need the money. Um, they're pissed. They're pissed. Uh, no money moving out. I guess maybe we could get rid of some of these residential buildings up here because they're hating life. They're not loving life at the moment. So uh, we're going to dezone this up here and put a commercial area. And then we could probably just tack the shit out of the commercial area. Why not? We'll get rid of that. Zone that, zone that, zone that, zone that. And watch my population just take a huge hit right now. Um, bang, 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 bang. All right, sweet. I just lost over 20. Oh, I think 30. Oh, my God. <laughs> we just lost over 30,000 people. Nice. Oh, wait, what? Why is people building there? Oh, I, de I zoned it the wrong place. I didn't do it to commercial. There we go. Commercial, commercial, commercial. Nice. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. And what the hell is happening? Why have I got 12 abandoned buildings? What is going on? What is going on? 13. Holy shit. For sale. What is this? Why are people just leaving all at once? What is this? A pact or something? Uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, fuck me. Everyone seems to be running out because too many deaths. No power. What the hell, man? That oil truck should have got there by now. Don't tell me I didn't have enough money at that one moment. Oh, come on. Christ, everyone is leaving. Holy God, look at my population. I think I just lost over 150,000 people. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, God. These people are bitching. Okay, I think we might have just took care of everyone. No, too many deaths. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. The homeless population has just got worse. What is this? I'm trying to help you guys. Oh my god, look at all those homeless people. Holy Christ. It is The Walking Dead. It is actually The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh my, out of money. Power. Uh, how has the oil not got there yet? What the hell? Where is the truck? Where is the truck? We should... Oh my god, we should be accepting the global deliveries. Why is he not accepting them? That's going to take a while to come now. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, okay, we just lost a shitload of population. Holy god, that popu that homeless population scares me. It really does scare me. And we just lost another building uh, for sale. What is, what's the health looking like? There isn't eight deaths per day, come on. Nuclear fallout in the city, what? Where is the nuclear fallout? What? Where? Where is nuclear fallout? What? 
New what areas affected by radiation? Yeah, we know that. That's a school. Yeah, that's why we put the school there. It's Chernobyl. <laughs> but holy god, I'm scared right now. I'm trying to help these guys, and it's getting worse. <laughs> Uh, where is the rest of the buildings that are abandoned? We're going to have to attack these people a little bit more. Because uh, we're starting to lose a lot of cash. Wow, at the start of this episode... Whoa, we're in the 700,000s now. But at the start of this episode, we were on like something like 960,000 people. We've already lost 160,000 people. Oh my god. Oh my god. And they seem to be just keep... They just seem to be running. Come on, man. The commercial... Oh, what is this? Oh, wait. Thank god. He's sending me power. Thank god. Oh, come on, these commercial buildings need to get up a little bit quicker. Come on. Why isn't there anyone building there, actually? That's a bit surprising. Unemployment crisis, we know. They're all on the dole. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, at least they get a little bit of education. Some buildings have gone up. What level are these guys down here? Okay, they're level 2 land value, which isn't too shabby. Level 2 land value. Oh, this place is germy. Uh, some of these people have actually gone up to level 2, which is nice. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of improvement. I know the population did take a huge hit. And there goes some more buildings. Let me guess. No power. No power. Too many injuries. No. Too many deaths. Out of money. Oh my god. This is going to be mo a lot more difficult than I thought. Uh, where is the rest of the buildings? For sale. Wow. <laughs> How to lose 200 population in one episode starring Mr. Teacups. Holy god. Okay. Out of money. I guess we might have to zone some more commercial. I don't think these guys have enough jobs. It's simple as that. Well, we've got some commercial up there, I guess. Um, what is this area saying? Okay, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to zone off this bit here. Get rid of that. Zone some commercial there. Uh, get rid of these buildings. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Hopefully, some commercial could go there. And there should be... Hopefully, some more money will go into the economy. <laughs> well, everyone's complaining that it's Jeremy. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Well, it's not easy. Well, I, 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 you know, I wasn't saying this is going to be easy, but this is pretty difficult to turn the city around. Land values seem to be going up. I guess we could plant some forests around. I uh, guess. <laughs> Let's put some forests down. Forest, 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 forest gump. Forest gump. Okay, things seem to be steadying out, I think. Okay, maybe not. More abandoned buildings. Jesus Christ. Out of money. Oh, come on. The tax rate is beautiful. You should love it. <laughs> okay, we took the taxes down a little bit. Hopefully, they'll benefit from that. And we put up the commercial tax. Uh, hopefully, we have some more people moving in soon. Jesus Christ. These buildings are just falling like crazy. No, in my life, there'll be some sort of natural disaster coming in. Um, leaving this town is full of death. There's only like eight deaths per day. Calm yourself. Calm your titties, boy. Out of money. Let's check the deaths now. Two per day. Are you serious? Police to arrest. The crimes have actually gone up per day. Okay, wealthy people create crimes too. Oh my god. Uh, the fire. Okay, you know, fires have gone down. That's nice. Waste is okay. Um, what about education? Okay, students enrolled. Okay, they're fully getting taught per day. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, more buildings are falling. All right. Okay. Some shit just went down. Okay. I was just deleting abandoned building after abandoned building. Just kept happening over and over again. These motherfuckers just kept leaving just because too much crime, too many deaths, or out of money. It's kind of slowed down at the moment. We still have a huge unemployment problem, but I have been around. I have, like, zoned. I've zoned some more commercial, so some more commercial buildings are going in, which is good. So hopefully people start getting some more money and some more jobs and that. They're slowly building around the place, which is good. I put some up there, put some down here. Um, it's difficult at the moment because I have just took a huge dip in my population. I've already lost 200,000 in this episode. Um, there is a crime problem. Uh, the crime seems to be gone up. Even wealthy people are turning their life to crime. But the thing is, though, it's mainly all the homeless people which is doing all these crimes, which is ass. It's so so fucking annoying because we've got to somehow get rid of them <laughs> oh my uh what have we got we've got another abandoned building going around uh that out of money yeah we know hopefully once the new commercial buildings are out there people will start having some more cash we might try and put some down here okay we just lost two more buildings as well jesus christ uh we'll dezone this bit here dezone 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 put this all here lovely jubbly okay get rid of these buildings uh bye 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 by oh we just took that by accident hey what the hell i said we had two abandoned buildings what did one just come back to life or something building file okay that's rare uh what's the health problem like oh 15 deaths per day what the hell oh that's probably because of the school that's probably a bad idea on my part 
Uh, where is the school at again? Where is Chernobyl uh, school? Where are thou? Okay, there's my school. That's probably the reason why everyone's getting sick. Well, it doesn't say they're sick. I don't know about that. Uh, let's check the radiation levels. How high is it? That is not too shabby. Oh, come on, you bunch of puffs. Okay, well, oh shit, things seem to be on the up at the moment. I'm at 792,000 population. Oh, that's gone up and up. That might hit 800,000 again. Everyone seems to be, well, a lot of land values are increasing. I'll give it that. Like, look down here. This is all increased down here. I've uh, got some commercial going up, which is nice. This is all uh, level 2. We're doing well. Nice. Uh, we'd like to go to school again. We'll probably going to have to get some sort of university into this town, but things are going well. Uh, we've already changed uh, the demographic quite nicely. Seems to be more wealthy people. What's our approval rate in 59 but well, 58 percent? That isn't too shabby. Uh, we need money. We need the money. What can we do? What does it say? Oh, come on. People have got... Well, some houses ain't got that much. A happiness to money. Um, it seems to be not too bad. I don't know what they're fussing about. <laughs> But I'm not sure whether to maybe put some industry into this and maybe try and get some more. I'm not sure whether to introduce industry back if that'll make much of a difference. We've got some buildings going down because of too much crime. Uh, the crime rate will just go down once maybe the police rehabilitate everyone. And once the homeless populations get up the street. Actually, the homeless is like, it's gone down a little bit. That used to be a lot worse. Yeah, we just had to delete some abandoned buildings. So we lost quite a lot of people there. Um, okay. Well, I think things are on the up at the moment. I think all we can really do is wait. I might have to introduce some more parks into it. I'll probably have to introduce some sort of university. That house is on fire. Uh, we've got some rubble building up. Um, hmm, we need the police to be more efficient. I might have to buy another police precinct and put it up here or something at the top. And try and maybe sort out the crime up here. But we seem to be having a little bit of a fire problem building up. Oh shit, come on guys, get to it. Uh, the traffic seems to build up quite a lot, so we might have to introduce some sort of mass transit into the uh, place. And other than that, I think things are going well at the moment. <laughs> things are going well, I say that, but yeah, they're not really going so well. This is going to be something that's going to take a while. But um, yeah, I'm just going to leave the episode off here. I've been Mr. Teacup, so you please be very to subscribe. I'll see you next time.